What is good friends, back with more smoke on Snake Drive, this time a hype matchup between Kikasa and Empo and looking at the teams it's gonna be Mega Alakazam, Scarflander is most likely with U-Turn, Earthquake, Defog and Edge, Edge is used to hit opposing tornadoes, Helps versus uh, Mega Pinsir and Zard Y I guess, uh, most likely a Rock Strand with like Spadef, then it could be like a Protect Magma Storm or Protect Lava Plume variant, the French people like that set quite a lot, then Hooper is either gonna be Bandit Specs or Zemo, I'm honestly not sure, Torn is looking like it's gonna be Helmet on this team, and then the Bulu is looking like a Spadef variant to help with Greninja, help with opposing Alakazam, even though Hooper also checks Alakazam quite good. And that's most likely bulk up, because otherwise Zygarde is a huge problem for this team. Like, Cold Zygarde could like 6 0 if the Bulu is not bulk up, so I think it's gonna be that set. On Empo's side, um, Defensive Core, Celesteela, um, Toxapex, probably Rocks on Clef, SD on Glisco, Tita could be Bandit or Scarf, and the Mega Alakazam in the back. So, turn 1 Kick Guys, I can just click Knock Off here, get rid of an item. Most likely Lefties on the Clef. And Ample is just gonna throw rocks up, pretty obvious. I'm thinking it's a soft butt moonblast rocks clef, and the last slot could be either Calmant, Toxic, or T-Wave, one of those three. If he has either Calmant or Toxic, it can force out common defoggers, like Zapdos and Tornadoes, and um, keep rocks on the field. So I th I'm thinking he has one of those two moves, most likely. And yeah, even though this clef is most likely fist death, I'm thinking there's a Helmet Tornado, so Hurricane would not do much to the clef. So now we will see. Um, Kickers is gonna defog here, turn two. And Ample was either going to reveal if he has Calm Mind, T-Wave or Toxic, let's see what he has. He does have Toxic, so Kick-Ass is now forced out because Toxic is going to rack up. So he's most likely going to U-turn out, and uh, Ample can just get the rocks back up. I assume he's going to U-turn here into either Alakazam or into his Heatran. Sometimes they carry um, Taunt over U-turn Tornadoes, but on this team he definitely wants U-turn to get his breakers in, like the Hooper and the Alakazam. So I think Ample's just gonna get rocks back up and either the uh, Zam or the Tren is gonna come out here. Yeah. And now Tren can also get the rocks up for Kick Assa. Ample might not wanna go hard into his Glisco in case um, the Heatran has Will O Wisp. He goes into Tita instead. And um, now Kick is gonna switch here, I guess, into. Unless he has Protect, he has to switch into like Lando, but he does have Protect, okay. And Ample reads that and gets his Toxic Orb activated. And Ample is free to click like. Like, the Bulu is really obvious here, so Ampo can either pull a double, or like, if he has a coverage move, like, I guess he can go for Ice Fang to hit the Bulu for some chip, or if he has knockoff, he can go for that. But yeah, Kickass is definitely gonna switch out here into the Bulu. I'm thinking this Glisco is definitely SD Roost Earthquake, and the last move, um, yeah, either Ice Fang or knockoff or Facade, one of the three. Does reveal knockoff, gets rid of Bulu's leftovers, and Ampo is free to switch out into Celesteela here. And Kickass is either gonna pull a double switch, or he's just gonna go for Horn Leech. Uh, Sandstorm cancels out the Grassy Terrain recovery, which is really nice for Ample. Now, Ample is most likely just going to click Leech Sheet here. Um, Kikesa might want to pivot into one of his flying types, because um, Leech Sheet is really obvious and he doesn't want to go Trin and get Leech Sheeted. Yeah, exactly. He does pivot into Torn, and now um, he can just pivot back to get his region, pivot back into Heatran here. So, Ample can either pull a switch or he can go for a double Leech Seed. Um, but he switches on to Clef because Clef was already knocked off just in case um, Kikesa went for knockoff there. There was no reason to let Celestia get knocked and there was also no reason to protect and get Trenin for free. And now he reveals Lava Plume, so he's a Spadef Tren with Rocks, Lava Plume, um, Protect. And the last move is either Toxic or Earth Power. Because um, French people have used Heatran without Taunt quite often, so I don't think it's going to be Taunt. Now Empire has to switch here. Um, he does go into Glisco, anticipating the Focus Blast to come out. Because uh, Tita is obviously slower than Alakazam, even if it's potentially Scarfta. And now I think he can just go into his Celesteela here and just use this Glisco as a pivot because Celesteela covers kick as having HPIs. Yep, exactly. And it also covered kick as um, going into Tapu Bulu, which would have been the switch in to the um, Glisco. And he heavy slams there, which is a really good heavy slam. And now kick has to take Sandstorm and Poison and he has to switch out here. So Empo is free to go for Leech Sheet here or pull a switch or go for Protect. I think Leech Sheet is actually fine here because there's no way kick is going to knock off the Celestia to let the Tornadoes go down. He needs the Tornadoes around. Now Empo can either go for Protect here or pull a switch into his um, Pex. Uh, kick has reads that really well and the Super most likely has Hyperspace Fury and is physical and that goes through Protect. Empo goes hard into Pex just to scout what the Hooper wants to do. And that looks like Bandit damage. It does a lot to the packs. So now he's gonna go Tita or Clef, one of the two. Kekesa pulls a double into Alakazam, which covers the Clefable and the Tita, so really good play there. Now Ampo's gonna switch out here on a Focus Blast. Um, either back into Gliska like he did earlier, or hard into Celesteela. Goes back into Gliska, predicting Focus Blast. Yeah, he doesn't wanna go hard Celesteela because Focus Blast does quite a good chunk to that, as he does dodge there. And I think he's gonna pivot into Celesteela here. Because with Rocks up, um, if the Focus Blast connect on Celesteela, it can actually get chipped quite a lot. So I actually like how Empo is playing this as the, yeah, he gets Celesteela on the HPIs. And now he can just Leech Sheet. 
and Kikas has forced out here. Heatran comes out. So if this Leech Sheet connects, he's gonna get quite a lot of health back. Now, um, he can either protect or he can pull a double into Gliscor. Um, because a double into Gliscor would cover Heatran staying in and would also cover a double into Hooper on the protect. Um, because if you protect he and stay in and he can go Hooper and then he can threaten you with a bandit hyperspace. Exactly, that's why he makes that play. Really well played and now he can go for a knockoff to knock off the choice band or he can pull another double switch anticipating the Bulu to come back out. Yeah, the Bulu is going to be um, a Horn Leech bulk up variant with either Protect or Synthesis and then either Superpower or Edge in the last move, probably Superpower. Um, I guess this, he could also scout for Ice Punch here. Yeah, scouting for Ice Punch is actually the play to make. So he can go into his Clef or into his Pex here to scout it out for Ice Punch. As he does go into Kill Fable. Uh, Kikasa switches out into Bulu, just making the safe play. So he most likely doesn't have Ice Punch. And um, now, Celesteela is really obvious. So Kikasa can pull a double here. Pull the double under here, anticipating the Celesteela to come out. Ampo just clicks Moonblast, which is a completely fine play for Ampo. Uh, so Kikasa gets some leftovers and grants it to recovery back. Ampo is free to switch out here. But he can also stay in exactly. Yeah, staying in is also fine because. Um, the Heatran does not have Magma Storm, it cannot trap the Clef, but Clef can also not do anything to the Tren, and the Tren is getting health back. So I don't think it's an Ampo's best interest to stay in and just let the Tren recover the full, but I guess it doesn't matter to him if the Tren is healthy, because the Tren is just a Lava Poom Rocks Protect set with either Toxic or Earth Power, which gets completely walled by his packs and by his Gliscor, so it's not a threat at all to him, so he doesn't care if it's at full. So he goes Gliscor here, and I guess he's just gonna click Knock Off, um, maybe Earthquake, or pull a double. Uh, this just knock of Bulu comes out. And Kikas has kind of forced. I guess if he has Synth, he wants to go for that. Or he wants to go for Horn Leech because his Bulu is getting chipped. So Ampo can just go back in the Celesteela here. That's why I like how he's playing the Celesteela. Like he's pivoting um, from Gliscor and Focus Blast into Celesteela on HPIs. Because he wants all the health on Celesteela he can have. Because Celesteela needs to be healthy for the Bulu and for the Alakazam. Like it has to check multiple months on Kikas's side. So, um. Like, doubling into Tren doesn't get kick or anything, we have already seen that earlier, and doubling into Hooper, I guess doubling into Hooper kinda gets him something, but he still has to predict, and Ampo has really good pivots for everything. Let's just Hornleech to get some health back. Uh, so we could see a Heavy Slam here from Ampo, maybe, to switch it up, because he has been clicking Leech Sheet quite a lot. Uh, we could also see a Leech Sheet again, but I don't think Ampo has... A, like, he, Ampo doesn't need to predict it, he can also just click Heavy Slam. Uh, he definitely wants to stay in a bit with the Celesteela to get some extra uh, leftovers recovery, as he does predict the Heatran and Leech Sheet. Uh, well played. I don't think he had to make the play, but really well played to keep this healthy. Uh, protect is obvious, but Ampo might also want to hard switch out, just in case the Hooper wants to come out on the Protect. He doesn't want to let that in for free, exactly. Great switch in the Tita there. Um, I guess the only problem would have been if he got... Burned by Lava Plume. And now um, we're gonna see either Crunch or Pursuit here from Ampo. Uh, well, I, unless if he's not Scarf, he has to scout for Drain Punch here. Because um, Band Hooper does carry Drain Punch sometimes. But he turns out to be Scarf and he goes for Pursuit and predicts. Oh, he predicts Kick out of the switch. No, actually, no, no, no. I guess he predicts him to not. He just wanted to pursue him to get the guaranteed damage. Uh, if he had Drain Punch, that would not have worked out for Ampo at all. But yeah, he Scarf Pursuit and he Toot Kill with the Hooper. I think he Scarf because he outsped the Hooper and Pursuit only did 40%. Um, and as long as kick I did not have Drain Punch, Ampo was guaranteed to trap the Hooper there. And even if he did have Drain Punch, I guess Ampo did not need the Tita 100%. So he goes on Celestita to predict in the U-turn, as kick does just go for the U-turn. Celestita doesn't really care about that, gonna get some leftovers back. He turn comes out, Celestita is free to click protect here now that hooper is dead he does not have to fear kick as a doubling into hooper on the protect so uh yeah well played by ample and like i said even if the hooper had drain punch he did not necessarily need the tita and he still had other pivots for the and like it got the damage on the hooper he needed i don't know how much drain punch would have healed back though but yeah um what happened there i'm behind now uh alakazam gets in on clef and he gets toxic on alakazam he was always toxic in there because he, he just wants the Alakazam on a timer, and now he can um, pivot back. Now he can, um, I was gonna say, yeah, just pivot the Tita on a um, Psychic. Yeah, he doesn't really need the Tita or the Clef, so I think he's just gonna sack one of the two here. Um, because the, pivoting back into Celesteela like, could be potentially risky, as he pivots back into Clef on a Focus Blast, and Kikas has taken all that Sandstorm and all that Toxic Chip, and Ampo's gonna sack either the Clef or the Tita. Or if he keeps pivoting between them and the Kikasa gets the play wrong, Ampo's not gonna sack anything. But I think he's willing to give up the Clef or the Tar, he definitely doesn't need them. And yeah, at first I thought he might go hard Celesteela, but like I said earlier, um, yeah, having Celesteela healthy is quite important still for the Bulu, because a uh, bulk up Bulu could be a threat otherwise to his team and actually be a, yeah, a huge problem, especially if his Pex is a Spadevarian, Bulu can potentially beat that. 
So he does get a beast boost there, but it doesn't really matter because he's at 1%, which means he can just go into his Celesteela here and click Protect. Oh, it goes on his own Alakazam. Okay, okay. Um, oh yeah, he knows that uh, Kikasa's Alakazam does not have Shadow Ball. It's a HP Ice variant with Focus Blast, Psychic, and most likely Recover in the last slot. So I assume uh, Ampo's just going to click uh, Psychic or Shadow Ball. Just, just click Psychic, he even comes out. And um, if Ampo doesn't want to risk missing a Focus Blast, he can just switch out exactly because he knows either Pax or Glisco completely wall um, the Heatran. So he doubles into land with the anticipating, I think, the Pax. And he's either going to U-turn out or Defog. And Ampo is just going to click Knock Off here, I think. Uh, Kikisa goes on the Torn, and Torn is going to go down here as Rocky Helmet damage doesn't matter because he has that Poison Heal going for him. Now uh, either Bulu or Zam is going to come out. Bulu comes out, is just going to click... Um, Maybe a setup move or just Horn Leech as Empo always goes Celesteela. There's the bulk up, yeah. Pretty obvious on this team that it can't be SD because otherwise Kolzaga just wins, like I said. So I can either click Flamethrower or Heavy Slam. Depends on the Kalk. If Heavy Slam still does more at plus one defense. Or if Bulu bulks up again and Heavy Slam and Flamethrower. Like, depends what does more. Empo can just run the Kalk. I don't know the Kalk. Um, I assume if this bulks up a few times, Flamethrower will probably do more to the Bulu than Heavy Slam. But yeah, Celestia should still be able to beat the Bulu. Well, if it, has, if it has Synthesis, it can actually get kind of scary for Empo. But if it's only Protect Bulu, then it can't get that much health, that much health back. Because it already um, got knocked off, which means it doesn't have leftovers anymore. That's why it was also really nice, that knockoff tech that Empo had on the um, Gliss score. And so this bulk up again, and I assume we see either the Heavy Slam or the Flamethrower. Yeah, and that has 37. So uh, this is not looking too good for kick Ether unless he has Synthesis, this Bulu cannot beat the Celesteela at all. And now that he bulked up again, um, I guess you want to click Flamethrower, cause that's like... I think they're going to do kind of around the same though with the plus two boost. He bulks up an again and he does Flamethrower, yeah. Lives on one and now if he has Synthesis, this is the time to go for it. Obviously. But he does just go for super power and Empo eats that up with his fat Celesteela. And that's why he needed to keep Celesteela healthy earlier. Uh, amazing how he pivoted in from Glisco on Focus Blast into Celestia on HPIs. Like I said earlier, it did cover also Kick Ether um, going Bulu on Glisco and it covered, it scouted for HPI. So just Protect was always free there. Like I said, he does not care if the Heatran gets back to full because Heatran is just not a threat at all. He just, just goes to Pax to get some regen. And I think he's just going to pivot here into his Glisco and uh, Kick Ether can either fish for a burn or switch out into his um, Alakazam. Goes for Lava Plume again. So Empo's free to go for Roost here. Kikasa's gonna have to switch out into either Alakazam or Landorus. Goes in the land. Oh yeah, Alakazam is really low, right? It's toxic. I completely forgot about the Alakazam being toxic. Empo has to be careful that the Alakazam does not trace Poison Heal from the Glisco though. So we're gonna see either a U-turn or Defog. There's a Defog. And um, now he's gonna have to switch out here, which means this is a free Leech Seed for Empo. But he does double into Glisco. Okay, okay. So the reason why he double into Glisco, I think, is because... Um, yeah, yeah, the Clefable is dead, and he doubled into Glisco breaking the trend, because if he stays in, the trend gets rocks up, and Empo wants to prevent the Heatran from getting rocks up, because Empo cannot get his rocks back up on Kickass's side, because Empo's rocker is already dead, but Kickass can get the rock back, rocks back up on Empo's side if he doubles into the trend, like if he gets the trend and not doubles it in. So that's why he doubled into Glisco, breaking the trend to come out. Now you can either Earthquake here, or if he wants to break the switch, he can knock off. Uh, I don't know, like, knockoff is, like, the more likely play, because... But I think Earthquake is also fine. Like, okay, let's say Kikasa switches out into Lando on an Earthquake. Um, okay, he does knock off breaking the switch. Uh, Kikasa stays into... Most likely get rocks up, yeah. So, uh, Kikasa gets him there, but I don't think that's bad for Empo, honestly. Like I said, he probably made a double to prevent the trend from getting rocks up, but the, Empo, the trend still got rocks up anyway. But it's not like it matters too much for Empo, because Empo's kind of far ahead. Now you can just roost here. I guess that's gonna switch eventually, like, oh, I think it shouldn't stay in and sack the trend. I mean, it doesn't really matter, I guess, at this point. Um, like I said, Empo just, Empo has to switch out here, though, in my opinion. Because if he stay, yeah, yeah, Empo has to switch out here. Because if he stays in and, uh, kills the trend, yeah, 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 exactly, he cannot, he cannot earthquake and kill the trend. Oh yeah, my bad guys. Because if he kills the trend, the Zem comes in afterwards and traces poison here. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's why he didn't earthquake, I think. Because if Zem traces poison here, he can actually win versus Empo, depending on... Uh, I think Celestia might be in range of focus, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So, made the correct play, switches out there, and knocking off, never earthquake. Um, I take that back that he should have earthquake, yeah, yeah, always knock off. And not get, not allow him to get poison here. So uh, Kikasa could have tried to go into Alakazam on a roost from the Glisco, but he didn't do that. I think if he did that, he might have had a chance. But his Alakazam also doesn't have Shadow Ball, which means 
I guess it loses to the opposing Alakazam most likely. Well, it depends if Ample Alakazam has Shadow Ball. I don't think it revealed that one yet. He locks into Edge there because that also hits the Celestealer, Dealer, but he was obviously going to sack something there. Now he's free to click um, Scald here with the packs. Because the Zam is toxic and the Zam is low, so Kickers, I can't really switch that in. And the Ample Plate is so fire and perfect, like... Um, yeah, I'm an Ample fanboy, um, <laughs> basically. And um, he's gonna trace region here with Zam, which doesn't matter because it's the last one. And yeah, I guess if he has recover, he can go for that. But it doesn't matter because Ample just spam Scald. He does not need the packs. Toxic plus Sandstorm is gonna weaken the Alakazam. So Ample's just free to spam Scald. And Kikazai has to kill him eventually. And their Toxic is just gonna rack up, which means Alakazam is gonna die to poison sooner or later. But yeah, I love how he pivoted around earlier um, with Gusko and Celis around Alakazam. And I love how he also... Didn't allow him. Well, actually, Kikazai, like I said, could have gone into Alakazam on a roost from the Gliska to get the poison heal. But he did not off-quick the trend, which would have been a misplay. And I th first thought that might have been a potential play, but it definitely was not an option. Because if the Zem traces poison heal, and if Ampo's Alakazam does not have Shadow Ball, which he goes for Psychic here, um, that doesn't mean he doesn't have Shadow Ball. Maybe he just didn't want to reveal it um, in case he uses this team again in a tour. But yeah, um, he could have potentially won that if he traced Poison Heal and Ampus didn't have Shadow Ball or like... Yeah, yeah, that could have been really rough. But yeah, really well played by Ampus. I thank you guys for watching. And expect more Smog and Snake Draft and OLT coverage uh, later or um, I guess tomorrow. And also some more guest uploads whenever my mans um, hit me up. And yeah, I wish you guys a fantastic day. Smash that like button if you enjoyed. And yeah, smash that like button for Ampus plays. Good God, fireplace. And yeah, goodbye friends. Very, very enjoyable match.